Hey, what's going on guys? Temper Gaming and Hardware here. I just want to go over um, a UPS that I just recently bought or an uninterrupted power supply by CyberPower. It's the CyberPower 1000 PFC LCD. And this thing is, the, as far as I'm concerned, probably the only uh, uninterrupted power supply you should get if you have a high-end gaming machine that's not using anything over a uh, 700, 750 watt power supply. Um, you know it's summertime, everyone's running their ACs full blast and the power grid is under stress because of this. Um, and that means the power grid uh, is releasing utility power that's not you know the most even, it's fluctuating, it's up and down. This thing has an automatic voltage regulator on it that will correct um, voltage sags or uh, surges. Um, and that will protect your high-end gaming machine and very expensive investment. Um, also, uh, this thing in the name has PFC, um, and, and it does 600 watts of output, uh, this one. Um, so I have a 650-watt EVGA G3 with an active PFC, so I'm not going to get anywhere near 600 watts on a single GPU gaming machine. So, um, this one seemed to fit me just right. Uh, I think the highest it's ever gone in output is 300 watts with it overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz, but that's for another video. <laughs> um, so, I have uh, a 650 G3, and most high-end um, power supply units have what they call an active PFC, or power factor control. And what this is, is essentially and fundamentally, it makes the incoming power uh, more efficient. So it can use it more efficiently and doesn't waste it as much through circuitry. Um, most high end, uh, anything over, I guess, like what, 500 watts will have an active PFC nowadays. If it's a high end uh, power supply like EVGA, Corsair makes them, Seasonic, of course, and um, I think Cooler Master makes them as well and um, an active PFC. Uh, this is meant for active PFCs. The main thing, that, why this is meant for active PFCs, is because it has a sine wave output waveform. Um, and just a tiny bit about sine wave um, output. Um, electricity has a waveform. Um, the cleanest, most, uh, I guess maybe purest, um, form elect electricity will have a sine wave waveform where it has very smooth alternating current, peaks and valleys, uh, and it won't be jagged uh, on the edges. Um, and why that's so important for this, uh, for you to have a active, uh, I'm sorry, a active, um, if you have an active PFC in your power supply, why it's so important to have one of these with sine wave output is because um, if you're not getting the cleanest power and it's got jagged edges on the waveform, your active PFC, um, when it goes to battery, when the power goes out, um, it will shut off because your your power supply thinks it's getting harmed by the dirty power because the battery output on your cheap UPS you just bought is not outputting a close to pure sine wave. It's doing uh, what they call maybe a simulated sine wave where it has an approximated look of a sine wave um, but it's got you know some jagged edges in there which makes the power supply think it's being harmed and there thus it shuts off to protect itself um, but of course this only happens um, when you are on battery power um, if it's if the power's running you know normally uh, utility power outputs sine wave no matter what so I just wanted to show you guys this thing is fantastic if you are looking to protect your investment your uh, high-end gaming computer most definitely um, look into this UPS I'll put the link into the description and uh, you know I'm trying to make some more videos here on some hardware uh, I don't have much time I work a lot but you know just like and subscribe alright guys bye bye